Greetings metalheads and welcome to No Nonsense Metal Reviews. I'm George and today I'm back with a Live Killers Black Metal Special. So I've got three absolutely astounding live black metal albums all released in 2023 and I have to admit for the large part I kind of overlooked these ones a little bit only really acquired them towards the end of 2023 so I thought instead of reviewing them all individually retrospectively I'd kind of tackle all three at once in a live Killers Black Metal special so I have to say all three of these live albums are absolute killers for sure been really pleasantly surprised by the the sheer brilliance and quality of these recordings actually and the material so I'll take you uh, through the first one which is the most recently purchased one from myself I've listened to this a few times and I have to admit I've been absolutely blown away by Mayhem the legendary pioneering black metal second wave black metal gods the absolutely brilliant demonic rites this album is actually freaking brilliant and as is the case with all of these three releases I put off actually purchasing this for such a long time although I was hearing good stuff about demonic rights as with the other albums I put it off for a very long time because of the price I must admit the price was ridiculous this was fetching nearly 20 quid and I think it still is for a CD in some places but I happened to just stumble upon um, a copy online eBay brand new sealed lovely digi pack really nice package and it was just over 10 pounds so I thought that's more like it I'll, I'll I'll part with 10 pounds not 20 unless it's a really freaking nice package but demonic rights is a lovely package and actually it's a fantastic set so if you're not familiar with mayhem this is a pretty good starting point to be honest um, but if you're not familiar with Mayhem, they are one of the legendary Norwegian second wave black metal pioneers. Their early material from the Death Crush EP onwards, um, Dim Mysterious, Dom Satanus album debut, and then right on through Wolf Lair Abyss, up to Chimera, and right up to the more recent releases as well. They're all legendary, all great in their own right really influential stuff, really iconic, really original. It's just fantastic. Mayhem are just one of those bands that there's only a few moments in their catalogue, in their discography, in their long career, in my opinion, that maybe fall a bit short. And this is a band that has such a reputation. They have such a legacy. I mean, you don't have to be a really deep in the underground metalhead devoted mayhem fan even to know about the uh i guess the kind of here the history of all sorts of evil things going on associations with church burning and oh yeah let's not forget the association with murder as well of course the whole euronymous dead burzum history but you know we're not going to go into that much detail about that what we're here to talk about is demonic rites this absolutely fantastic live album really nice artwork here on the front of the booklet really cool and it's a really nice booklet as well you've got some cool photography some cool shots of the band actually uh, and to take you through the band god look at that that's a good live shot awesome so to take you through the lineup we've got the the great Attila on vocals we've got the legendary Necro Butcher on bass Hellhammer on drums one of the best drummers ever Full stop, period. That guy is an absolute machine. Freaking fantastic drummer. Uh, then we've got Telok on guitar and we've got Gaul as well. Also on guitars. Brilliant musicians. Absolutely first rate. Cannot fault them. Uh, musicianship throughout this live album is tight. Absolutely brilliant. Um, so these, this was actually recorded in Sydney, Melbourne, Australia, London, Manchester, UK, Budapest, Hungary, Gothenburg, Sweden, uh, Milano, Italy, uh, during the Demon World Tour 2019 to 2023. So, yeah, this is more of a live compilation of recent years, a uh, live compilation of their best material, to be honest, but doesn't have that kind of authenticity if you like of just being one show or a couple of shows same venue you know successive nights 
correlated into one cohesive live album. It is, a, you know, a compilation of tracks recorded from around the world. That said, it still sounds and feels like a live album. And to be honest, I think it's just a great collection of brilliantly recorded live material. So what we get is some absolute belters from the uh, most recent Demon, uh, our studio album. We've got Falsified Hatred, Malum, uh, Bad Blood, My Death. Fantastic stuff. Absolutely cracking more recent material. Absolute belters. Then we get a real gem. We get so Symbols of Blood Swords from the mighty Wolf's Lair Abyss. One of my favourite Mayhem releases for sure. Uh, then we've got uh, Voces Ab Alta. Um, then we're on to the more sort of familiar stuff, if you like. The more, I guess, the, the more well-known material from Mayhem. But these live versions of tracks such as the obligatory Freezing Moon, Pagan Fears. One of my favourite songs of Mayhem's catalogue altogether is definitely Life Eternal. Just that bass, just the whole package. It's just freaking, oh, I love it. And then Buried by Time and Dust. These versions sound fantastic they sound evil they sound monstrous attila's vocals are just creepy and yeah it's just weird stuff but freaking amazing absolutely brilliant and then we basically get a succession of the death crush tracks so we've got um the intro kind of piece of sylvester and fang we've got death crush chainsaw guts fuck we've got carnage the legendary track and pure fucking armageddon thrown in for good measure an absolute belter of a live album. Sounds freaking great. As I say, musicianship, can't fault it. I love Mayhem. I love Mayhem's material. I have to say that these versions, they freaking deliver. They are just as good, if not better, than the studio versions, for sure. So Demonic Rites, I'm certainly going to be continuing to spin this for a while because in the, at the minute I'm, I'm on a bit of a Mayhem spree going back through their catalogue a lot of uh, delving back into Chimera in particular and also the new album Daemon and also of course that legendary Dame Mysterious Dom Satanus. Absolutely freaking legendary albums, legendary bands. I mean truly legendary bands for sure. So Demonic Rites, a live killer recorded all around the world but an absolute masterpiece. A long album as well. It's about an hour and twenty around about that mark it's a long live album it's a long killer so you you really do get your kind of your value for your money um especially in that absolutely stunning material pagan fears life eternal buried by dust and time ah sounds freaking amazing so up next we're obviously we're keeping it black metal we're keeping it evil and yeah seriously evil and heretical what aim with the absolutely delightful die in fire live in hell or live in hell i should say absolute monster of an album i i love this i've been listening to this uh pretty much every day or so for the last couple of weeks digging it hugely it's a lovely package i put off getting it for a long time i know it was a 2023 release but i put put it off for many months because of the cost again it was fetching 18, 19, 20 quid, 20 pounds, and I just I can't really justify that unless it's an exquisite vinyl package box set, whatever. But what a Swedish black metal diabolical war machine that they are. They are on finest form here. This album was recorded live and raw um, in Stockholm on October 7th, 2022 on the Chariots of Fire tour. Lovely, brilliant. So it's just one night, one show, really nice package. Really, really high quality stuff indeed. Live on the night, one, one show as I say, but an absolutely phenomenal concert indeed. This is a live killer. If you like Watain, this is Watain on the fin finest of forms, I should say. Being that it is from the Agony and Ecstasy uh, album tour, we get some brilliant tracks from that album in the form of Ecstasies in Night Infinite, which is absolutely brutal. Really just a, a blizzard, a blizzard of black metal in your face there. Uh, we've got The Howling, 
Ceremosa. Uh, ah, just freaking fantastic. So those new tracks are really, really well well presented here. They are delivered in the finest of form. But then we do delve, or they delve back a little bit further. They bring out some of the more recent material from uh, Trident Morph Eclipse, and they delve even further back than that as well. Brilliant tracks in the form of Black Salvation. Black Flames March is a real standout, an absolute belter. Uh, Devil's Blood, uh, The Return of Darkness and Evil, The Obligatory Brilliant Nuclear Alchemy. Freaking fantastic. This is a really, really, really brilliant live album, I must say. And I love Watain. Um, got all the albums, never had the pleasure of seeing them live. I've uh, never seen Mayhem live either. I'd love to catch both of these bands. But for now, this album, this live killer here, Die in Fire, will have to suffice. But this is a brilliant album, as I say. Again, it's a long one. It's uh, in excess of an hour ten, I think. Packed full of classics and absolute brilliant, brutal black metal track. You know, there is a difference. This sounds far more energetic and aggressive there's that kind of punk infusion it's raw hatred it's like they're spitting venom in your face right here than say mayhem mayhem have their own sort of mysterious evil brilliance what have the outright brutality but this is a delightful live album i would seriously recommend this to any fan of what even casual listeners of what but also if you're a fan of any of your any black metal, any black and death or black black and thrash, check this out. It is energetic, high intensity stuff. Musicianship is solid throughout. Yeah, really brilliant performances across the board. You've got Eric Danielson, brilliant vocalist as he is. Really, his voice really does kind of fit Watain's music. It's perfect. And actually, I'll show this quite nice uh, insert here. So we've got like a lineup shot here, or lineup collage, which is really cool. And then we've got a kind of poster as well. Lovely package, as I say. Really high quality, the whole thing. Really high quality digi, really high quality insert. Worth the money, I think. Watain, die in fire, live in hell. A live killer. So we've got one more article. This one is, uh, without a doubt, one of my favourite black metal bands, and I have to say, I've been, a, I've been a big fan of this band for many years. It was a similar case. The live album came out, I was really interested, but I refused to pay extortionate rates until I saw this delicious vinyl version for um, only about a pound more than the CD which was on offer. This was on offer, it was about £15, I think. I could justify that for a double vinyl. But I have been a fan of Cradle of Filth for many moons. They're a very polarising band. You either love them or you hate them. And I don't actually think that the band give a crap whether you hate them or love them. I think that they just, they are just Cradle of Filth. They are filthy, filthy individuals. And they play very gothic, very symphonic, very good, very well orchestrated black metal. And of course I kind of owe them a little bit of allegiance as they are very local to myself but they're also a very dear band to me I've been as a fan for many years as I say in fact since an early teen really since about sort of 13 14 is when I first first came across Cradle and I actually have seen Cradle of Filth live once at the Norwich Waterfront on the Hammer of the Witches tour and that was fantastic it was an absolute diabolical ritual haven't been able to catch them again since but one day I hope to so this is Trouble and Their Double Lives, which is actually a bit of an odd live album. As you can see, it's a gatefold here, a lovely gatefold package, in fact. High quality, heavy duty vinyl, just the black vinyl for this one, so I won't fight the discs out of the inner sleeves there. Again, it's a compilation of live tracks because this was uh, recorded various places across the globe um, we've got recordings from the USA in 2016, we've got Canada in 2019, Finland 2019, Russia 2019, interesting, um, again it was right across the globe, USA, Australia, Russia, yeah, Netherlands, all over the place. 
However, each disc is actually kicked off with a new track. So on disc A, on uh, or disc one, side A, we've got She Is A Fire, which is an absolutely stunning track. It's very gothic, it's very symphonic, but it's so packed with melancholy and darkness and it's actually really stunning. The whole package, the atmospherics of it, Danny's vocals, the riffs, it's a stunner. It's an absolutely stunning track, just as good as anything that they've put out on any of their full lengths in recent years. Similar story with uh, the second disc, Side C kicks off with Demon Prince Region, which is a bit more, it's a, it's a gothic black metal track, definitely. It's a heavier number, I'll say, but it's packed full of killer riffs, amazing vocals. It's classic Cradle of Filth, and it lives up. So it's quite nice. You've got these couple of studio track inclusions there, but really the highlight is actually the live material. Um, although I will say that She Is A Fire is just as strong, as I say, as anything that's come out on their studio albums in recent years. For those live tracks, we get an absolute plethora of classics and newer tracks. Obviously, um, some of these recordings are quite a few years old now, so we're talking sort of Hammer of the Witches kind of tour. But we get tracks like Heaven Torn Asunder, a classic. The absolutely fantastic Blackest Magic in Practice. Honey and Sulphur, a classic. We get the absolutely anthemic Nymphetamine Fix with the stunning female vocals, the orchestration, the keys, synths. Oh, fantastic. Absolutely brilliant. Born in a Burial Gown, which is absolutely pummeling. Furious, shrieking, banshee like vocals from the great Danny Phil. Uh, Desire in Violent Overture, the which is obviously an absolute classic, Cruelty and the Beast stuff. But then we get Bathory Aria, which is one of the album highlights, in my opinion. It's an absolutely majestic, majestic track. Heartbreak and Seance, uh, the magnificent right wing of the Garden Triptych uh, from Hammer of the Witches, I believe. Oh, that's a brilliant one, as is Promise of Fever. Then we get some real classics. I mean, Deep Cut. We are going straight back to Dusk and Her Embrace for the closing track of that album, Haunted Shores. Magnificent. A gothic, blackened masterpiece. If you don't feel the compulsion to adorn some black nail polish and head out into the woods at night drinking red, red wine after listening to that, then I, I don't know what would make you want to do that. Uh, Saffron's Curse. The Gilded C-U-N-T, of course. The obligatory. And the brilliant Lost Maud and Wargasm, The Lick of the Carnivorous Winds. Very poetic, and I think poetic kind of sums up Cradle of Filth quite nicely. Gothic, poetic, heretical, evil, romantic. Black metal, that's what this stuff is. It's freaking great, actually. In total, it's nearly like two hours long. So it's a long live killer, it's a long live commitment, but it really does stand up. It's a fantastic live killer. I would strongly recommend this for any Cradle of Filth fan, any fan of sort of gothic music, gothic metal, black metal, symphonic metal, whatever. Cradle of Filth are a really eclectic mix of brilliance, in my opinion. And this is actually a good starting point. The, the recording quality, you know, the musicianship is so good. If you were a, a casual listener, maybe you've never listened to Cradle of Filth before and you're looking for a good starting point. Trouble and Their Double Lives is a very good place to start. Check it out. It's a stunning album. Sounds great on vinyl. Bear that in mind. So it's just full of absolute classics, I have to say. A fantastic one. Musicianship, faultless. Female vocals, Danny's vocals, faultless. Keys, orchestration, stunning. A true live killer. So there you have it, my friends. Three black metal live album essentials from 2023. What are your thoughts on these live albums? What are your thoughts on Mayhem and Demonic Rites? Thoughts on Watain and Dying Fire? Thoughts on Cradle and Trouble and Their Double Lives? Just feel free to share your thoughts and opinions on this one, my friends. Feel free to like and subscribe and a big thank you for watching. Check back soon for more recommendations and reviews of all the good heavy things. Take care of yourselves, my friends, and until next time, stay heavy.